On this episode, episode 72 of the podcast, I'm going to talk about spin-offs, elections, because we want, everybody wants to be talking about them, and challenges. Yeah, challenges. So uh, let's get into it. And also, I'd like to thank uh, Guinness for sponsoring this episode. <laughs> that's for the uh, that's for the it's for video the video watcher there. So yes, just like to thank Guinness uh, from uh, established seventeen fifty nine. So thanks Guinness for sponsoring this episode of the podcast. Yeah. Um. Anyway, everybody now. When I was putting this show together, I was like, I don't know what to talk about because not really much has been happening, but I'm going to do a little bit of shameless self-promotion in two or for three segments today. So anyway, I'll, we'll get into the first one. Uh, yeah, so why not? Now, as you may remember, and I have talked about this uh, previously, a couple episodes back, um, I the, the podcast, used, we used to have a, a segment, like a little bit of a review segment or a movie review segment or so. And then after a while, I decided to retire that um, because I just didn't really think that's what the show was. Well, that's not really like the, the concept of, of the Luke Who's Talking podcast isn't really having a segment about movies or film. So what I've done is that is going to be, it's it's spun off. It's going to be spun off. Now, the first episode of that um, show, it's going to be called Luke Who's Watching. Yeah, it's going to be called Luke Who's Watching. Um, and the first episode of that, I believe I have scheduled to come out on Tuesday, um, which that's just going to be a quick little sort of uh, intro uh, trailer, as, as you will. And then after that, the next, the following Tuesday will be the first proper, quote, proper uh, episode of the Luke Who's Watching podcast. Now, my aim for the pod, when I first did the trailer, which was uh, a month or so ago now, a little while ago, um, I wasn't sure, and I think I'm mentioning it, I'm not sure what sort of the release is going to be, like the release schedule. However, since I have done an episode and I've got that ready, and actually somebody, I have somebody out there who quite possibly is listening to this, um, has also actually had a little bit of a, excuse me, sneaky listen to, uh, to that episode too. Um, and I think they quite, they liked it, which was good, um, because they're not easily impressed. That, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> but, um, I have sort of since decided that episodes of Luke Who's Watching will be on the second Tuesday of the month they will be released on the second tuesday of the month so you know there's only going to be like 12 episodes of that a year which is i mean that's okay um i and i've also got myself a bit of a matrix here of uh various things to watch um various things to watch so yeah, I've got various movies, uh, and I also have some sort of TV shows, television movie, movies, a few a few um, bits here on my spreadsheet. I've just simply got something on Netflix written on there. Uh, most of the stuff I'm going to watch will be my own content, or my own, from my own collection. That's what I'm going to, I was going to say, my own content. I'm not going to be watching my own stuff. Um, most of the stuff that I'll be watching will be things that, uh, stuff that I um have in my own collection so um uh, yeah but that said if you have a suggestion of something uh, i should watch or could maybe look at watching send me an email luke who's talking pod at gmail.com and just say hey i want you to watch this on luke who's watching or uh, send me a tweet as well now i can't at this point put like a link to the podcast in the description because it's not out yet but uh, just keep an eye on twitter uh and I'll, I'll post a link there and in some of the various discords as well um and when the show has gone live proper i will put a link to it uh, for the first like I'll, I'll put a link to it um in in the links in the links i'll put a link to it in in the podcast here moving forward for a little bit as well um i probably won't do that indefinitely but maybe sort of you know the first couple of episodes um 
I'll uh, I'll put a link to the new podcast in the in the notes of this. Um, you know, once it gets sort of once it gets released. Um, yes, yeah, so that's just a little bit of something coming up for you, and uh, if you you know, hope, hopefully you can listen to it. So, hopefully, I'm pretty sure Tuesday. But look, next week I'll remind you in the next podcast episode, no doubt. And of course, if you're in, in uh, for Luku's uh, Luku's Discord Discord. Um, I'll put a link to it there, and of course, keep an eye out on the Twitter as well. Anyway, let's get into the next little, it's not really a story, it's maybe a rant, I don't know, let's get into the next thing. <clears throat> now, remember also, like, when I decided to retire the review section of the podcast, I also, I think at the time, had a bit of a melt meltdown, had a bit of a rant, like... Oh, we're not talking, this isn't a political podcast, no more politics. That said, I'm breaking my own rules, which, you know, why not? Why not? Um, and so tomorrow, when you're listening to this tomorrow, or in other words, the 1st of May, I, well, I've already voted, but I have to vote in two elections. Okay, because we were going to have an upper house election for my area, and then the govy the, the government with the premiers. I talked to I talked about him once before on one of the episodes um, when he was just the treasurer, but now he's assumed the role of uh, premier for reasons. Um, I think I said that he looked like a Bond villain because he was on the front of the paper. If you remember that, um, yeah. So I'll gut. Uh, now I've got a, he's like, oh, well, we're going to have a state election on the same day. Great. So depending on where you live, you may have to vote in two elections. But I was like, I don't want to go to a polling place. So I got possibly controversial, but I got a postal ballot. So I um, filled out my paperwork, emailed it off got um my postal ballots sent to me so of course I had two ballots i filled out one sent it away did whatever and then a few days later i did the second one so and i'll tell you why i got a postal ballot well obviously well yeah well because i don't want i don't want to go to a polling place and vote on um election day also here's a hot take for you i have complete confidence okay <clears throat> excuse me i have complete confidence that my ballot will be as um as it is when it gets to where it needs to go right i uh i don't have you know look one of the candidates in one of the elections is a former tv host and they used to do the sports section on the, on the news as well now, if they were to say, for example, this, uh, you know, don't do a postal ballot for various reasons, you know, I'm not stupid enough, that's a hot take, to uh, believe some bozo TV host that my ballot is going to be compromised because I've decided to do a um, postal ballot. Okay, there's a hot take for you. Get your gloves on because you won't be able to handle it because it's pretty spicy. Okay, that's where I'm at. Also, about said TV, former TV host slash news presenter, <laughs> I I put them, um, I may have put them bottom or close to bottom of my ballot. Because for starters, I was like, well, this guy, look, it... You should really vote on policy, however, you don't. Uh, most people don't. And I was like, oh, this guy's a bozo. And also his party's policy is like, ugh. But one of the uh, radio stations had a debate with all the candidates out the front of a pizza hut. Yep. Um, and I listened to it back. And I thought said TV host slash former sports presenter was just a bit of a, being a bit of a smart ass, if I'm honest, with a few of his, his comments and the way he answers some questions. So I was like, 
bottom of a ballot for you, buddy. You're going down. You're going down. Anyway, yeah, so I voted. Had to vote. Lovely. And, you know, it's good to have confidence in your system. But if you're going to not have confidence in your system, at least make sure there's some good, solid, um, tangible evidence for you to look at. So then you can, you know, a, a blurry video on social media, I would suggest isn't necessarily um, solid evidence. Anyway, let's move on from that. Welcome back, everybody. Um, yeah, you haven't been anywhere. There we go. Uh, <laughs> so I was just having a quick look at my notes, and I can't really find it. But one episode of the podcast, it's titled a bit more personal, I think. I had a little bit of a talk and uh, just had a bit of a yeah, conversation with you about uh, my not being well, could I say, or having a terminal slash respiratory illness okay talked about that now coming up in well this yeah coming up in may is here in australia is um it's sort of like a, a bit of a awareness month for said condition which is uh called cystic fibrosis or i think i just called it cf at the time so some people you know do People do challenges and things with, you know, for numbers six and five in it to help raise a bit of awareness and some dollary doolittles. So this year, I have decided to challenge myself and to also, you know, hopefully raise a dollar, um, but also raise a bit of awareness for for the cause and all that jazz now my challenge is and i've challenged myself to see if i can ride my bicycle 650 kilometers for the month which is a lot so it's about 162 i think a week or 160 yeah it's a little bit i think it's about that 162 ish a week now i was looking back at some of my my data and I have ridden over 600 kilometers in a month before. Actually, I've, I've done it twice. And I think that was the month, month plural of November and December. I rode about 630-ish kilometers both months. So I could probably do it. Uh, but I have, I have to sort of think a little bit more about how I can get the kilometers in because the days of course are a bit uh shorter it's pretty much dark at about 5 36 now whereas of course during the summer when I was doing those those rides it wasn't getting dark till 8 30 uh or so 8 8 30 so um yes I could I could go say at 6 6 30 i could go for a ride and i knew that i didn't i had until about 8 30 or so to get back home and the roads at that time a little bit quiet people have gone home shops are closed uh and that, and that sort of stuff where i'm yawning and talking at the same time um yeah so that's sort of mm, uh, we'll see how we go i might have to try and plan like a few longer sort of 70 or 80 kilometer loops maybe do sneak 100 or something in there as uh, as well so we'll have to see how that goes i'll keep you updated on the next episode of the podcast where i'm at with that um and if i pull my finger out i've got to set up the um my fundraiser page thing uh, hopefully if i do that like now which i probably should do um I might put uh, a link to that down below. So if you want to donate a dollar, you can. Or I think more importantly, um, if you can't, that's fine. But I think it'd be great if you could just share it for me. Um, that'd be really ideal. Um, I think the main goal really is see if I can, you know, maybe get a little bit of awareness up. You know, of course uh being able to raise you know a bit of capital is great but um a little bit of uh awareness would be great and i think i might see if i can 
raise maybe six. I don't know. Do you reckon a dollar a kilometre that that could be done? Maybe. Anyway, I'll uh, I, I've got to get on to a couple of things regarding that. But yeah, see, I'll, I'll see if I can do this challenge. It'll be interesting. And um, yeah, it'll be tough, I think. But uh, look, I'll keep you updated on how things are going on the next episode of the podcast, where we'll be about halfway or so through it. Also, yes, I'll, I'll I'll keep you updated on that. Anyway, let's uh, wrap it up. Well, everybody, thank you very much for listening to this episode of the podcast. As always, um, you can look, you can send me an email, Luke, who's talking pod at gmail dot com, and uh, you can send me a tweet. We're on, we're, we're on, we're at L underscore who's talking on Twitter. I wanted to change, this is just a quick note, I wanted to change to Twitter just to simply Luke who's, so then I can have, that could be like a little bit of a social media hub for all the various, like for the vlog and the, the other podcast and all that. So the Twitter handle is still um, at L underscore who's talking because I, I wanted to change it, but I couldn't have say Luke Who's or L underscore Who's or anything like that was already taken. So I thought, uh, I'll just keep Luke Who's, uh, L underscore Who's talking as the Twitter handle. But if you go onto Twitter, it'll say like the name or whatever you want to call it. It, uh, it just, I think it just says Luke Who's. Um, maybe I could, ch- right, here's an idea. Maybe I could change it to Luke Who's Twitter. How about, I've got to sit, look, right, I'm going to look at that up. I've got to look that up and see if I can change it to Luke Who's Twitter. Anyway, everybody, uh, thank you very much for watching if you've watched it and thank you very much for listening um and uh i'll chat to you you'll see me and all that jazz in the uh, the next episode will be episode 73 thank you